Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the seven types of coats you need for your fall and winter wardrobe. <laughs> this is Aya. Before we get into the video, Welcome to Park Avenue if this is your first time here. I do videos like these all the time, styling, unboxings, outfit idea videos. If that's the kind of content you wanna see, then hit that subscription button and leave a comment down below and let me know what kinds of videos you wanna see. But make sure you hit that notification bell as well so that way you don't miss an upload and you'll know when your video is ready to be viewed. The first jacket I wanna show you guys is a leather jacket. Now a classic moto style jacket is a very popular style and you can find it anywhere. A black one with silver hardware, you could go black with blacked out hardware, you could do a camel with silver hardware. There are lots of different combinations to choose from, but if you find the perfect fit and great quality, you'll have it forever. If you treat it like a blazer, it looks super cute with your workwear looks. It can edge it up a little bit and give it a little bit more of a funky vibe. Or you can throw it on with t-shirt and jeans and a pair of heels. You can wear it out to dinner on the weekend. Or just throw on some sneakers in and run your errands in it. It's very versatile and it works with everything. And the great thing about leather jackets is the more you wear them, the more they wear in and break in and like conform to your body. So it's almost like you're getting a custom made fit. There are also plenty of vegan leather options to choose from. You don't have to go with leather if that's not something you want to do. Just make sure you're getting a really good quality, great fit leather jacket. The next coat you need in your wardrobe is a classic trench coat. This trench is perfect because, first of all, the color is very, very versatile. The color goes with so many things in my wardrobe, and I'm pretty sure it can work with everything in your wardrobe because the color is just so neutral. And then it's really great for the sort of temperatures that we have in the fall. It's very confusing. You don't know what to wear because the weather is changing so drastically between the morning and the afternoon sometimes. So a trench coat is a perfect weight. You can put knits under it. It looks really great with turtlenecks, or you can just do classic button-up shirts under it it's great for rainy days you know the fall can be a little bit unpredictable sometimes it just rains sometimes it's a little bit warmer sometimes it's a little bit cooler and trench coats are really great for that because they're a good medium weight and they're water resistant and then the belt helps you really cinch in that waist but a classic trench coat you'll have forever even if years go by and you don't reach for it which is probably unlikely because it's something that's so useful in your wardrobe years later you'll reach for it and it'll work for you. So a trench coat is definitely something you need to keep in your wardrobe. The next coat you need for your wardrobe is a camel coat. The camel coat is so classic, it's timeless, it's extremely versatile, and it's very necessary for your wardrobe. It's the kind of coat that you'll reach for again and again, especially when you enter the cooler months, at when your trench coat is not heavy enough for the cooler temperatures, you're gonna reach for your camel coat. And it looks so great layered with chunky sweaters or lightweight knits, depending on where you live. It looks great with t-shirts and jeans. It's just a very sophisticated, timeless, elegant, classy look. So it's definitely something you're gonna reach for in five years. The camel coat I'm showing you guys is one that I got from Zara years ago and I still get so many compliments on it when I wear it. Just because it's so timeless and, and classic, it just looks good no matter what. Any of the other coats you get or don't get, this is the one you absolutely for sure need. It just adds a sophistication to any outfit that no other coat is gonna be able to give you. If you want a little bit more interest or if you want something a little bit more statement than a camel coat, you can do a check blazer sort of coat. The one I'm showing you now is from Nordstrom Rack. I can leave a link if I can find it online or I can find something similar and show you guys, but it's really versatile because it's neutral. It is a little bit more interesting because it has the print, but you can treat it the same way you would treat the camel coat. Because it is neutral, it could go with tons of things. It looks great dressed up or down. It looks really cute with hats too. I mean, the camel coat will look cute with hats, but if you have like a little driving cap, it'll look really cute with the blazer coat. But with jeans and a t-shirt or a white button up shirt, and also, if you like to stick with neutrals, but you want to do something a little bit more fun, the check print is going to give you a little bit more visual interest. So that's something that's really great to have. The bomber jacket is also another staple you guys need in your wardrobe because it's an easy throw on sort of jacket, but it also looks great with slacks. So if you want to dress down your workwear a little bit, like make it a little bit more dressy casual, if you throw in a bomber jacket, it gives it another vibe. And it's also a jacket you could throw in with sneakers and a t-shirt and wear on the weekends. It's just an easy jacket to have that's another option from your camel coat or your more dressy coats or your puffer coats or anything like that. It gives you a funky vibe, but it's a classic silhouette that 
will never go away. It never has and you'll always reach for it. It also looks really good layered under other stuff. So if you wanted to wear a thin bomber jacket layered under a heavier wool coat, that could be cute too. You can get it in different colors. I stuck to a neutral color just because I know for me it'll work best. But you can go crazy here. A bomber jacket you can get in neutrals or you can get in really bright colors. Or you can stay in a neutral and get an interesting print like the one I'm showing you from Banana Republic. Getting into the heavier coats as the weather transition into very cold, a maxi coat. I love these coats because as the weather gets colder, we need to bundle up some more, and a maxi coat just keeps you warm from like neck to ankle. <laughs> and it looks really great. It's a very sophisticated, dramatic look, and it lends itself really well to your workwear, to your dress, to your clothes, and it looks really great very casually. Now, if you are petite, I think you can still do a maxi coat, and I feel like that's a little like debatable. Some people feel like, you know, petite girls shouldn't wear maxi coats, but I think you should try it if you want to. It looks really great with heels. Whether you're tall or shorter, a heel is a great way to really wear the look and not let the look wear you. And go with a navy as opposed to a black because a black can look heavy and it can really swallow you up. So a navy is a little bit lighter, but it still gives a dark effect if you wanted to do a darker color. Also try olive or a camel color. A maxi coat is a really great style to try and have in your wardrobe. It looks so amazing and so sophisticated. It's really perfect. The coat I'm showing you guys is a coat that I've had for a while. It's Michael Kors and it's navy blue and it has gold hardware. Of course, you don't have to go with gold hardware or any hardware at all. You can just do simple buttons if you wanted to, if you don't wanna make it too specific. But if you do wanna make a splash or make a statement, then I would say go with the hardware because it just does give it another look. Now this one is military as well. And you don't have to go for something so specific. You can go with a more simple style, something a little more understated, but a military style is classic as well and it is something that's never gonna go out of style. Whether it's trending or not, it's always something that's gonna be super appropriate. The last coat that's an absolute necessity in your wardrobe is a puffer coat. First of all, when the temperatures get like sub-zero freezing, it's gonna keep you the warmest. That's why it's absolutely necessary. But it also can be a stylish option. So just because you need something for warm doesn't mean it can't be fashionable. And the one I'm showing you guys is from Nordstrom. It's from a brand that I haven't shot before, but I'm gonna leave it in the description. I did get it last year, so I might not be able to find the exact one. But the style, I'll always be able to find because every year I see these styles. I decided to go with white because I didn't want to pick anything too heavy. Like usually the black puffer styles that I see, the long ones, for me they feel a little bit heavy. So as a tip to you guys, I would recommend picking a lighter color. If white is too much of a statement for you or you feel like it might be too much of a hassle keeping it clean, go with gray. You can do a taupe, a brown, anything other than black to give you a little bit more of a lighter look. You can even go with camo. Puffer coats are so cute, and if you go with a longer length like the one I'm showing you, it still looks really great over dressier clothes. Something about a short waist length puffer makes everything really casual, and it doesn't always fit, but if you go with a longer length, you can still get away with a lot of your dressier clothes underneath. Especially if you live in a place where it's so cold all the time, constantly, you don't have the option to not have something so warm and thick. So get a longer length puffer coat and then you'll be able to still wear your fancy schmancy clothes underneath. That's it you guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what coats you're looking for this fall and winter. If you already have your staple coats down packed, let me know what statement coats you're looking for this fall and winter. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you did not enjoy this video, give me a thumbs down, but make sure you leave it in the comments and let me know why, because if I can improve my content, I'll definitely try. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.